Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Go. And for this episode, we're actually back in my hometown in Harrogate because we've come up to see my parents. So Hello, it's, it's good because we get fed lots <laughs> and we get to just relax. Get and it's after. Really, we get really looked after. We get looked after so much. I'm kind of squinting a bit because it's so bright. And I always put my glasses on. It is really bright. So we just come out in the morning. We've got a little Evie. I'll show you her in a second. She's chilling out in a chair. And we're sat in an area we've got three Pokestops. Yes. Three Lures. Yes. Since we've been walking this morning, I've already had a Magic Hat spawn and a Magic Hat from an egg. And I had another Magic Hat from an egg yesterday. Wow. So this may be the episode. Well, we do our Gary Dose If you do yours, I'm doing mine because I'm the same with 650 candies, so I've, I'm you've just got, ready and yeah. waiting. You're, you're good, you've got, you could power it up afterwards. Yeah. I've got three, six, seven, but I think I have about 20, maybe 25 magic up that I need to transfer into candies. So I think we could do it. Okay, this it could be it, this could be it. But right now, a war turtle has just spawned in a lure behind us. We've both got it. Amazing spawn. What's yours? Seven, four, three. <gasps> See, mine's only a five, eight, six, but it's those candies that you want. So we can get that war turtle I already have that's better than this one to a Blastoise. Look at this little sleepy puppy. Hello, Papa. <laughs> so cute. He's so little, little cutie. You are such a little cutie pie. Okay guys, hopefully we can catch this little guy. Yours ran, right? Yeah, like let's not talk about it. No. <laughs> you get you had a few go attempts today. We've got a great, we've got a great with an ultra ball and a raspberry. Like if it's gonna get caught, this is his only chance. Even though it was like less than your First try? <laughs> Yo, nice! I can't believe that we've got a little water turtle. We've got those three candies. We're on 17. At 100, so we've got a long way to go. We need egg squirtles, but I don't think I've ever had a squirtle in an egg. But he's a cute little guy. Let's see how he compares to our other war turtle, though. Got a massive raticate, like right on top of us as well. Let's go by number. So our other war turtle is actually 914. Which really? Is, yeah. Just similar to the one in Holland Park. I think I may have got this yeah. confused, but the one in Holland Park was strong. That one was only 586. We're pushing it for the candy. We've still got a really, really strong war turtle for when we involve our glass toys. So we bought Evie some little socks. Check these out. How cute is that? But now we're gonna see if she can actually walk in them. They're like they are shoes and socks, aren't they? They've got cool grips on them. Look, pads. <laughs> Let's see if she can walk. All right, first test. Uh, yeah. Okay, maybe. What do you make of them, Beavis? Go on, do some more. Don't bite the bows, <laughs> Evie. Oh, Baba. Never. Yo, she's actually kind of getting used to it. <laughs> she'll, she'll have more bitten off. I can show you. So guys, in my last video, we had to take this little baby here to the vets because he ended up getting a really bad cut in his leg. He had to have an operation. It was a really horrible time, actually, it wasn't, wasn't it? very nice. We were really concerned, but he's done so well this week. Let's give him medication every morning and every night, which he kind of hated, but he was really good about it. Yeah, he was very good. And then today is the day that hopefully he gets his little stitch removed from his leg and he also gets his cone off because it's not very fun living head, life you? as a cone, is it? Little cone head. <laughs> <laughs> but he's been so good throughout the whole time. I mean, you look a bit, you look a little bit moody right now, Bubba. But he's been so good, and I can't wait for him to return to being a normal cat. Yay. So let's go inside and let's get your cone off, Bubba.
found a place and we think there may be some magic art. Yeah, definitely. I've checked my sightings list. There's definitely some here. Look at that lake. I mean, there's no way there's, there ain't going to be any magic art. I don't know if you can here. see, there's loads of geese there as well. I don't know if you can hear them, but they are loud. They are loud. They, they are, are some loud geese. So hopefully today we're going to get enough magic arts to level up. Regardless. Not hopefully, it's happening, it's happening. It's happening, it's happening. What I need to do first is I want to show you just how many magic up I have because it's a pretty insane amount, isn't it? You haven't been discarding, that's for sure. And then I'm going to transfer all of them apart from the strongest and then see how many we've got left, see how close to 400 we are. In my last video as well, some of you guys actually said that the magic up that I caught in the last episode, well, not in the last episode, when we were in Germany, Yeah. was a really high, like a really strong magic up. Really strong. With really good IVs. So I checked it on Pokefind, and it's actually 95%. Dead on 95, how good is that? And that was a 162 magic up. Yep. Since then, yesterday, we actually caught a 163 magic up. Oh yeah. So I need to compare the IVs and see which one is the best before I evolve it into a Gyarados. You gonna help us find some Gyarados? Well, find some magic ups. So the noisy geese have brought us luck. Little Beavis has as well, because look, definitely in the right place. We've got a magic up here. It's a 143, so it's definitely not gonna be one of the ones that we use for our final evolution. There's also another one nearby. I think this could definitely be the day that we get a Gyarados. This is sick. So the only time I really ever use the AR feature is when I'm out and about walking Eevee and an Eevee appears because it's too tempting not to try and put it in there. We've got this little 445 guy. How can I add him to the Eevee collection? Because I have a lot of Eevee candy again and I want to do some more evolutions. I need to get that Vaporeon. And we've caught the little guy as well, the little Eevee in the little, the little screenshot in the background there. She's given us good luck. So I rarely actually use incensors. Like I don't have that many <laughs> and whenever I use them, I feel like all I get is Pidgeys and Rattatars. But today, they seem to know what my quest is to get a Gyarados because I just got an incense magic up. You got an Omni, right? Yeah, I got some good spawns. Yeah, I didn't get anything quite as cool as that, but this is what we need today. So look at that, guys. We've caught that magic up from the incense. It's only 74, but you know what? If we're just trying to get as many candies as we can, anything less than 163, I actually need to be as low as possible. So I was happy with that. And check this out, 373 Magikarps. We are definitely getting a Gyarados today. Are you excited for your Gyarados today? I've been sitting on these candies for so long. I'm almost at a point where I can evolve two, but I'm just happy that I know I've got a good CP and a good IV Magikarp ready and waiting. So the pressure's completely off. It's just on you to those <laughs> final candies, which is definitely gonna happen, so I'm so excited. So no pressure to me or anything, but I need to get those Magis. No, guys, this is never what you want. You pop on an incense and you get a freaking Weedle. So guys, we've caught a few magic arts while we're here. We've caught some of the Pokemon as well. But right now it's time to see if we're anywhere near that 400 magic arts we need to get a Gyarados. So I'm gonna go and order my Pokemon by number and you can see just how many magic arts I have. Most of these are actually from when we went to Gamescom in Cologne. We sat by the waterfront and just caught magic harps all day long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep those top three there. So I've got a 163, a 162, and a 150. I was hoping to get something a little bit higher today, but unfortunately it's not happened, but that's fine. Let's see how much magic up candy I have once we crunch all these guys down. So guys, we're on 409 magic up candies. We do have enough to get Gyarados. So I've kept my few highest CP magic up just to see which one has the best IVs, and so it's probably the best one to use for my Gyarados. Once I find out which one it is, I'll crush the rest of those as well. So I have even more candies to power up my Gyarados once I evolve it. So I'm using Pokefind to find out which of my Magikarp is the best one. And first up was my highest CP one, so the 163 one that I caught during this weekend. Let's see what its IVs are. So this one, despite being the highest CP, is probably not gonna be the best one to evolve. So I'm sorry, little dude. You are definitely not the best Magikarp. We're gonna transfer you. Bye-bye. So, up next is the one that I caught that you guys said was the perfect magic up. Let's see what that looks like in Pokefind. So, as you can see, this guy is way more promising. He's 95%. So, if we look at the bottom, this little guy could either be a 93% or a 97%. He is super awesome. I think he's definitely in the contender to be the magic. Oh, look at this. Look at that craziness. He's definitely in contender to be the magic up that we evolved today. So, I kept two more. I kept a 150 and a 149. Let's just quickly put them in and see if either of them beat it. That 150 CP magic up has 100% perfection. So this is really hard. We have two choices. We have the one with the highest CP, and Gyarados is a really good multiplier, so that's gonna come out a really strong Gyarados. 
He's 162, but he's 95% perfection, which is still really, really good. Still good. Or we have our little 150 guy, who is Magikarp 100. He has 100% perfection. Which one would you go for? Easily 100. Like, really? The reason you wait and the reason you check IVs is to find that 100 perfect Pokemon. And if you then evolved the non-100 Pokemon, you'd have to wait to get another 400 candies to ever make him a Gyarados. Yeah. There's no way you should ever not evolve that one at all. So even though my CP is going to be lower once I evolve it, it's worth it because I could just power it up and make it will always be the strongest Magikarp. So short term, the CP. So short term, the CP will be lower because obviously it's evolving at 150 rather than 162. But its maximum CP range will be full, the ma the most like, like something crazy, like the high 2000s. So you eventually power it up all the way level 40 so that is the one are we gonna do it are we gonna involve our magic cups it's time it is time so the time is finally here we've been searching well we've been searching for enough magic cards to get a Gyarados since the original Lake of Rage video that we did that was like a while ago now uh, yeah that, we were trying to get a Gyarados that episode definitely didn't happen no. <laughs> we're here now and that's the point point. and we both got our magic card tell us about your magic card because I've obviously got my 100 yes. CP 150 this is a higher CP, right? Yeah, so I, the highest CP one I found is at 172, and its IVs are 90, so it's still a really strong combination. So my maximum CP potential is actually lower than Claire's if it went all the way up, but its current state at 172 CP means that after the evolution, I'll be coming out a little bit higher, at mm. least for the moment. Predictions for what we might get? I'm thinking 1,800, maybe 1,900, not quite 2,000 myself. So mine will be a bit lower. Mine will be maybe 1,600, 1,700. Yeah. Yeah. But with the opportunity, when I get more magic hearts to go above 2,000, yes, right? Yes, exactly. So it's going to be amazing. Well, it's going to be our best evolution for sure. Our strongest Pokemon for sure is going to be so sick. I can't wait. So guys, if you're excited for this evolution, smash that thumbs up button right now. I'm excited. I'm, I'm so nervous. excited. I'm scared of accidentally hitting Chonsa. Oh my god, let's not. <laughs> I'm scrolling down my page just to make sure I don't hit it by accident. So, okay. this is the time, my friends. I'm going to click evolve. Okay, click ready? Evolve, and then we're going to count down from three and do a dual Gyarados evolution. Right, you ready for this? <laughs> okay, three, two, two one, one, go. Okay, went a little bit before. Oh! <laughs> Such a perfect place to do it. I can't so wait. exciting. I love Gary so much. I know. He's such a cool Pokemon. Such a strong one. What are the CPs gonna come? <gasps> he's so big, he's out already. Yo. <laughs> what are we saying for the CP? Obviously, it's gonna Look be a new Pokedex entry. He's mad, absolutely. So we both put our lucky eggs on beforehand, Definitely. so we've got that bonus CP. Uh, bonus. Ooh, 1821, 1500. Mine seems so low. So move set, I got Hydro Pump and Bite. I got Dragon Pulse and Bite. I think Hydro Pump is what you want, but I don't know. I think It depends on your playstyle. So if you're playing against a Dragon type, you've got a good move there. Yeah, and exactly. And also, I do like it if I'm doing a battle to have two moves that I can kind of charge up to and use quite quickly. Yeah. But I do see the benefit of getting that big powerful hey, move as well. So. That's amazing. Are yeah. you going to power yours up a little bit? Yeah, should we do it? So should let's it do some power powering up? up and we'll come back and show you the maximum potential currently at least for these Gyaradoses and see how strong they are. So guys, we have done it. Mine is fully maxed out for my level so I can't go any higher. 2087, my first ever 2000 that's CP awesome. Pokemon. I love him. <laughs> How's yours doing? So I didn't have that much Magic Cup candy left over. I think I only had like 12. So I boosted it as much as I can. There's still a good way to go there. Yeah. And he's at 1728. And we think that because well we know that yeah. was he's a 100 magic up, he should be able to get the maximum HP that you can get. The maximum maximum everything. Yeah. So whatever his maximum CP cap is it is when you reach level 40, the highest level in the game, that Gyarados can hit it. So I'll keep you posted. I will I will power this guy up the next time I catch magic cups when I get them from eggs. I'll keep grinding them and I'll get this guy to my maximum and let you know what he'll be. But what a weekend. <laughs> so awesome it's finally weekend. happened guys. All the way from Lake of Rage we started off trying to grind for this guy to this point right here. It's definitely taken a long while yeah. but I'm so happy to have He's this guy in my it. squad. It looks absolutely amazing. He's got a really cool animation as so well. So like, cool. He's scary. Like that, If he was real he would be pretty scary Pokemon. For sure. We need to take this guy along to some gyms I reckon and smash it for Team Mystic. So We need to do a double team on a gym. Yeah. Two Gyaradoses. That would be amazing. You know what? That's a sick idea. So what Claire and I are going to do are take Take our brand new Gyaradoses and double team a gym and see just how much we can smash it with our brand new Gyaradoses for Team Mystic. Ooh. Okay, so we 
found a gym. It's the Crown Hotel in Harrogate, just behind us. And the top, this gym, it's a red gym. It has a few Pokemon in there. It's got a Hypno, but the top, it's got a Dragonite. I was this so is a good hoping test. to find one. Yeah, yeah, literally. Dragonite versus Gyarados. It's going to be mad. 1,982. This is a really, really good Dragonite. Really good. Are like, we going to be able to take it up? Well, let's think about the move set you've got. You've got Dragon Pulse, was yep. it? You've got a Dragon Move. I've got Ho Hydro Pump. Like, I'm thinking this is going to be a good one. You know what I mean? So, are you going to put your Gyarados in first? Or are you going to have a Pokemon that... that Eats away it a little bit. No way, no. There. Gyarados goes straight in. Are like, we playing Gyarados? Gyarados is smashing okay, both okay. of these back to back. Like, you know what I mean? I, I want it to survive all the way to the end. <laughs> No, it'd be fine. Like we've definitely got this. With two Gyaradoses going at it at once, like, like this is going to be for sure big plays. Not necessarily easy, but I think we should start with it for sure. Okay, should we do this then? All right. So you've got your Pokemon ready. I've got it. All right. Three, three two, two, one, one go. go. Let's do this. Two Gyaradoses. Impala, Mine's still yeah. called Magic Carp. <laughs> <laughs> Magic Carp 100. <laughs> Let's go. All right. First guy. Super effective against this guy as Actually, well. Actually, this guy's pretty strong. Actually, no, Let's no. Let's try Dragon Pulse. Yep, do it, do it. I'm going to hit him with a Hydro Pump. Oh, my magic has been gone down. It's all good, it's all good, it's all good. It has to get to the next I've one. I've hit it. I've, I've lost a lot of health, health as well, to be fair. <gasps> Oh okay, my god, so it's fine, it's fine. Magic has barely got any health. It's fine, you got this, you got this. Oh my god, Dragonite Come is on. strong. Can you use any of your power moves? I'm going for yeah, a hydro pump. Yeah, I've used my power move. I just really don't want to nice, get nice, hit by nice. a special. Nice, nice, This is going to be tough. This no, is going to be really tough. No, my voice, Dragon Claw. I dodged it, I dodged nice, it. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Dodging is so key in battles like this. So. Dodge, dodge, Nice, quick, nice. Dodge. I've got another hydro pump, another hydro pump. <gasps> come on, hit it with it, hit it with it, hit it with it, hit it with it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go! Yo! Oh my god, how much health do you have left? Literally a almost little identical. Slither, a oh little my slither. gosh. Okay, we've got to take him down again then. So to now, beat the gem. yeah, I think it's just left with the dragon. Oh, it's just a Gyarados versus Dragon. Like 1v. Well, 2v1, technically, we've got two, two of us. Yeah. But this is going to be sick. It's so round two round of this two. gym. We both renamed it to Gyarados, so you guys won't get confused anymore. So, you ready to jump in? Three, two, one, Bam, go. Bam, baby. Dragonite is tough. I think this is the first time. I've ever battled a dragon like maybe. I don't know. Maybe maybe not, but just like his attack <gasps> animation is mad. I can see a Gyarados on the screen. There we go. Nice. Look, two of them going at it right away. Come Definitely on. avoiding attacks is important as well. I've yeah, got the Hydro Pump as well. Yeah, because it's a dragon. Yeah, right? exactly. Imagine we're not dragon type. Well, so we we're, we're flying the and water, I yeah. think. It's a bit of a weird combination, but it, it is what it is. So, <laughs> one more to go. If you can get a special. Yo! Oh, what? That that was hydro, so. I don't know. I, mean, I I could pretend it is. Right, I don't quick, think quick, it was. quick. Now's the chance to get the Pokemon. Oh my god, you've got a Gyarados in there? Yeah. Let's right, do let's a double duck Gyarados. No, gym. wrong, wrong. Oh, it's right at the bottom. We need to heal it. No. Did you heal it? No. Oh my god. Are we going to. Oh my god, are we going to try and heal? Yeah. Okay, okay. Max potion. Nice. Put it back in. Quick. Pokemon. Quick. I don't think it's anyone around. We're fine. Putting it in. It's in. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> Oh my god. Team oh instinct god. have snuck Wally, in. Wally, where are you? <laughs> what, are you what are you doing, fam? Wally, just, Wally, we're going to smash you and we'll take your shim straight back. <laughs> there you go. Look at it. It's him. It's him over there. Wally's <laughs> taking it from us. Okay, All right, we're, we're taking, taking it back. back. Come on. I didn't use my Garrett off. So this time. I made the sure. The too far away. <laughs> no, I'm in. I'm in. Off you go. Off you go, babe. Garados looking solid right there. Let's see if you can put hers in in time. Double Gyarados Gym. That is what I'm talking about. <laughs> you done it? What you like? Yeah. All right, there we go. Jeez. All right, so now we are finally a double blue Gyarados Gym. One with Claire's, one with mine. I think that was definitely a successful gym battle, and ain't Gyarados is definitely an absolute monster. Ain't nobody taking that gym down for nope. a while. No way. <laughs> Wally, you ain't coming back and taking it, alright? So guys, we're on our way back home now, back from Harrogate. How long have we been driving for? Uh, I've been driving for about three and a half hours. It's been quite easy, it's been good. And how many of that time have I been sleeping? Maybe two, two and a half. <laughs> I did some sleeping on the way back. A little baby did some sleeping as well. She kind of just sleeps here the whole time we're driving back. She's actually super easy. Whenever we're in the car, she gets tired. But we had a really nice weekend, bank holiday weekend away with my parents. It's always so sad to leave there. And Evie had a really fun day today hanging out with my aunt's dog, Erin. So yeah, we had a really fun weekend and we both got Gyaradoses. Like, literally this weekend could not have gone better. More, really. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly just show you where the cats sleep. So I don't know how well you can see, but there's a Darcy cat. 
there is an Oliver. The cats basically have their own like super huge crate at the back because they kind of keep each other calm when we're traveling. They don't like traveling, but if we're both traveling, if they're both traveling together, oh there you are Oliver. If they're both traveling together, then it calms them down a little bit, but they're definitely eager to get out now. As you can see, Darcy's little cone is now off. He is a free wild cat, ready to explore again. Oliver is just a big fat baby as usual. Are you eager to get home, little Bun Bun? You are a little sleepy bun, aren't you? Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And me and the car squad back there. Thank you. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.